Hey everybody, welcome back inside the mind of Matt. And in this episode, I'm going to plug it in, upload my firmware, and then turn it on. Want to see? Watch the rest of this video. Alright, so I'm kind of set up here. I'm plugged into the USB port. Couldn't get my OBS to work properly on this computer. It's the older one. But I've got everything set up here. I've compiled it, made sure, or verified it, I should say. And it went through clear. Uh, I've uh, verified my I'm getting that so I know I'm connected. So I'm going to press that upload button. Now I don't have the power to the printer turned on. I wasn't sure about this step, but apparently it works without plugging the printer in. Power source that is. You see it's still unplugged. So it's uploading. Just gonna have to wait for it. Thirty-eight percent. It says it's done uploading. So I should be able to. Uh, moment of truth. So, I don't have any smoke either, so. Let's see if I could do some troubleshooting. All right, so we definitely have, um, I'm not sure what's going on. The board is connected, it, but things aren't moving the way they're supposed to, so. That being said, I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging and we'll get back here in a second. Be right back. I turned it on, I didn't get a blue puff of smoke, which is a good thing. Uh, things weren't working right. I had to go in troubleshoot mode. Using my experience as a troubleshooter, I figured it out. So, first things first, I gotta warn you, this fan is pretty loud. Now I will say I might have to change one of my settings because it's kind of like the opposite. Even though I don't use the button on 
my my other Maker Select. Um, it's kind of opposite, so to move down, you got to go counterclockwise. I have to look at it. once again. I I don't play with these buttons a lot, but I'm gonna go to prepare, and I'm gonna auto home. Alright, let's turn that fan back off so they might be able to hear me. So, I got all everything connected. So let's talk about a little bit of how I troubleshot so that if you have this, then you might be able to figure it out. So I had it hooked up to the computer. I opened up Repertoire. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I can control it that way. So when I tried to move, um, I started with the X. When I tried to move it, it would go one direction. It wouldn't go the other, other direction. Um, when I hit the end stop, it would move in the other direction. So that told me I had to reverse the logic. Same thing with the Y, except for it was the, with the Y, when I sent it forward, it went backwards, and when I sent it backwards, it went forward. So I had to reverse the connectors on that. That's where I said in my last video, if you didn't see that, then go up here and watch it, where I said something about polarity and how to hook those 1B, 2B, 2, all those. Yeah. So needless to say, I had to reverse my uh, Y connectors and then it still wouldn't move in one direction I hit the limit switch and then it would move so I had to reverse the logic on that as well and then as far as the Z's basically the same thing uh, I put the connectors on backwards and I had to reverse the logic so it turns out for the this particular limit switches on this maker select all of the logics are true, not false. Um, that is the one setting I can confirm that all the limit switches are uh, true in the firmware settings. Uh, my, my bed heated up. My MOSFET was working fine. My hot end heated up, which it wouldn't allow me to move my uh, extruder with it cold so it had kind of like a, a protection there which I, I never tried to do that before but it, it was there so and once again I had to reverse the connector on that as well so needless to say everything is hooked up beds working extruders working uh, everything is homing. I have to go through and level the bed and maybe do a PID uh, tuning. Get my Octoprint set up on my Raspberry Pi and get that connected and I will be printing hopefully. So I'll save that for the next video where I will reveal the yard sale maker select and it will be printing so stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe hit your notification check out my affiliate links down in the description and share on your social media and as always happy printing